You looking for the easiest reusable sticky stencil? I think I got what you need. And I'll show you what we got right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. And this week, we're doing some Christmas door tags, but we're doing it with a little something different. You know how we're always on the hunt for the fastest adhesive yeah. and strongest <laughs> <laughs> and easiest reusable stencil. Well, I think we found the easiest reusable stencil and we're going to test it out. Yes, so I reached out to Icon Art. We spoke to Edie. She is so great. Fawn helped us out through email. They were really wonderful to work with. We've seen this Icon Art stencil, custom stencil kit for a while now. What I think is really cool about this, it, this kit comes with the exposure light and we don't have to put it in the sun or whatever. We can just do it all right here at one time and we're really excited to try it out tonight, see how it works and make some cool dog, dog tags, door tags. <laughs> dog ear tags. <laughs> Step one, now we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We just needed some door tags that we pulled from our store and this Icon Art Custom Stencil Kit. And we're going to see what's inside it right now. And some paint. Oh. We'll also be using our country chic paints. And some paints. Yep. And uh, that is it. This is like early Christmas, so I'm ready to get into it and see Let's what we see got. what's in the box. Shazam. Oh, got some instructions. Don't need those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got a little stencil, a little film thing, a light, some bubble wrap, a bar, some kind of flat bar, inkjet printer film, laser printer film, oh, a clipboard and a squeegee. Clipboards for taking notes, making sure you're doing this thing right. Yeah, well, well give it to me. I'll um, be taking the notes. <laughs> some icon art stencil film, some tools and screws oh and the, the base plate it? i guess assume it's the base plate all right let's put this put jam together all right no let me yeah oh. you get started i'll i'll all tell right. you what to do you read that all right here's the setup guide for that i'll read this seems pretty simple Looks pretty simple. I get it. Oh, see, you almost oh. messed it up. <laughs> almost blew the whole thing. You're right so far. Just winging it. I am winging it. I'll really be winging it with this wing nut right here. <laughs> You do need this little Allen wrench though. Alright. Correct. That was correct. <laughs> correct. Where's your clipboard? Oh. What it's for. Yeah, I should have my instructions pinned to it. Attach light to light arm. All right, I'm on it. The hardest green nut you know, ever. Extra set of hands. You want me to hold it? No, I got it. Got it's on now. Yeah. We're good. We're golden. All right, that was easy so far. All right. Wait, wait, what is that? Into step one, gather all of our supplies? Yep. All right. Step two, we're gonna print our design. Thought I was gonna say, make our cuts. <laughs> we have a laser printer. No, we don't. We have an inkjet printer. Yes. So we're gonna use this inkjet film. Yeah, so I'll tell you a little tips about, it says that Artwork should be high quality and have crisp, clear edges. Vector artwork is the best. Example, SVG files. 
They sh uh, artwork should be set up as 100% black, so you don't want to print color on these, just black ink. Uh, you want to print your printer settings to print at the highest quality possible. Uh, adjust the ink setting to print only black and the paper setting to glossy. So, so there's a, a shiny smooth side and there's like a dull milky kind of feels matte. It feels different than the other side. We're going to want to print on the matte dull milky side. Yes. As dark as we can. Yes. As blacker than black. And it says you should reflect or mirror your artwork before printing for high detailed artwork and to make wash out faster. Got them all back. Oh, they're all staticky. Do you want to like... Alright. It's as dark as I can get it. And I mirrored them, ready to go. We tried some really detailed ones to see how detailed we can get it. We know that this would take forever to weed with like vinyl for a vinyl stencil. Yes. So I'm going to test it out. How easy is it? Um, and this one's got super detail. Some of these got like super fine lines. So we're going to test it out. See if it gets leaky, smudgy, smeary. Step three. Now we're going to expose our stencil. Get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> you put your head in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to start with this textile film. We're going to try both. We're going to try the stencil film and the textile film. Yes, so the stencil film comes in the custom stencil kit. The textile film, the difference between the two is the textile film is, has a stickier back and is more rigid. At least that's what it says. Oh, so it's a little stiffer. Let's see. Let's see what we got. So I think I'm going to do too. All right. Ready? I'm going to take and it out now. And it's purple. So it is light sensitive, so don't dilly-dally. They don't need to be in a super rush, but I would not dilly-dally. So here is the stuff. Again, this has a shiny side and a like a corduroy side. Really walk down the hallways fast with these on. <laughs> We're gonna take our printout, milky side down. You know where your printout is. Bam, bam. So rough side to rough side. Right? Rough yes. side to rough side. Yes. Now we got this clear sheet. It's a little thicker, a little heavier. It's gonna weigh it down. Keep it pinned down. Yes, it says you want your artwork to be sealed tight against your stencil film. Yep. Oh, get it down. Get it down. Whoop. Getting crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you ready to new. expose it? I'm ready. Let's flip the switches for 35 seconds, babe. Bam. Yes, this has to expose for 35 seconds. That's it. Just 35 seconds. 35 whole seconds. Uh -huh. I can deal with 35 seconds. Can you? Yeah, you just can't do two minutes on the glue. Yeah, two minutes is ridiculous. <laughs> like, we're already halfway through 35 seconds, so that's not bad. I could easily talk through 35 seconds. While you're waiting, do you want to tell them about these little... Did you say something oh. about these little sample stencils? Nope. We figured out what these sample stencils are. This is what it's supposed to look like when you printed it. How dark and how crisp. Oh, we're done. And this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it's supposed to. <laughs> this is what it's supposed to look like when it's all done. How it's supposed to look like when it's all done being rinsed. So we're gonna rinse this again. Don't dilly dally. That's actually step four. Mm -hmm. We're gonna rinse it out. Taking it down to the sink, real quick, like. Get out of here with those instructions. <laughs> now, yeah, show them that you can't see anything. Oh, yeah, there's nothing to see here. So, yes, nothing when you take this off the, on this the film, there's you can't see it, nothing but you will sleeve. see it nothing when it that rinses sleeve. out.
all rinsed out. Still a little wet. Now they say it'll wait 45 minutes to let them dry. Uh, but we are impatient. So. Well, I read that you could use a heat gun, just yeah. a low heat setting and low heat speed. That's <laughs> what we'll be doing then. Step five, post exposure. <laughs> so we're just gonna throw it back under the light for like two more minutes. Harden up the edges, make sure everything is nice and solid. All right, that's me. Two minutes. Uh-oh, what are you gonna do for two whole minutes? You wanna look at these? Look at all these things? Think about all the things I'm gonna make with these things. After you post expose, you'll wanna flip this over and on the shiny side, you'll wanna write back on that because you're gonna reuse this shiny sheet as your backer and you don't you want to keep it on the same side so you'll write back on this side so you'll know how to put it back on the carrier sheet step six what wow. <laughs> now we paint <laughs> first I, try I, I you had paint, to reach for it i'm painting one of mine in crinoline and then the other one in Devotion. And I'm also going to use red and white. I tried to come up with a green color scheme, but I couldn't find a good one. So we're going to stick with the red and white. I'm going to also use crinoline. And I'm going to use paint the town. So I'm going to use the darker red. He's going to use the brighter red. Yeah, mine's going to pop. Pop. Step seven. Uh, now we're gonna lay down the stencil and uh, paint it. Everything's dry, looking crisp. Look at the detail in the approved by Santa Claus. Pretty cool. So uh, I think I'm starting to believe, right? Yeah, so for this one, I'm doing snowflakes on the red one. I'm gonna do and then half snowflakes, half buffalo plaid. So I'm doing the weave on this one, and then buffalo plaid on this one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing North Pole and buffalo plaid. Let's lay it down. For use your stencil, it just simply says, remove the carrier sheet, do not throw it away, place the stencil on the surface with the adhesive side down, textured side up, rub down on the stencil and apply pressure to help the stencil stick to your surface. Apply water-based paint, ink, or paste to your surface using a squeegee or a brush. Cover all the open mesh areas of your stencil, carefully remove the stencil, and then clean your stencil. We'll see, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Yeah, came out great. All right, we gotta go rinse it. Yes, we found that you can't let the paint dry on this, even a little bit. You gotta go rinse it right away. It'll get stuck in that fine, fine, silky mesh. Now we're just going to return it to its backer, its clear little backer. Remember you wrote back on the back? Back to the back. Face down. Which side up? Textured side up? Yeah. Yeah, sticky side down. Yep. Yeah, you want words, that, words down. Sticky side down. And once they're, they've been exposed, now this, you don't have to worry about this being light sensitive and it should last about a year. Yeah, they're pretty rugged. It's pretty rugged. You can flip it around. It's like a screen print. 
back on. Step eight, now we have the accents. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna glue some things I picked up at Walmart onto it and our tabs. We're gonna glue our tabs on. I'm gonna glue my little tab. I made them opposite. Hmm. I'm gonna glue them together too. Right, so. I'm gonna put the holes together. Glue it together. I'm gonna glue them together so they hang like this and they don't end up trying to hang like this. So we're gonna hot glue them at an angle so when they hang on the door, they'll hang like this. Yeah. Hot glue time. Oh. No, we're gonna do two things. One, we're gonna use your, we're gonna use the E6000 or oh. whatever we have, but and hot glue. That was a trick one of our viewers taught us, is that you use both. You don't have to wait for it because the hot glue is gonna hold it, but this is gonna make sure it doesn't yeah, come apart. Don't you still have to wait the two minutes before you can touch them together? Not this one. This is just E6000. Oh, uh, okay. I won't do the Gorilla Glue because I look, look what's. Look what I got left of my Gorilla Glue. It is ridiculous. I'm oh, going to get some more. I don't like that stuff anyway. It's, I do. It doesn't stick right away. I, I do. need it to be concrete two seconds. Okay. All right. All right let's, let's make this happen. Glue them down. Glue them if you got them. Ooh. Ooh, he's loading it up with some glue over here. It's steaming. Oh, like Would you use the whole stick? stick. <laughs> half a stick. <laughs> Good thing I got another it. one. Half stick, old half stick. Mm. Get down there. Get on there. Go. Mm. I think it's down there. Don't touch it. Hot diggity. Look at that. Bam. Looking great. I don't want to. I got these bells with this really fake looking, <laughs> really fake looking acorn. No, and it's berries. A... It's a pine cone. Oh, pine cone. Really <laughs> fake. That's how fake looking it is. Um, Walmart is like a dollar. I'm going to glue it on. And then I'm going to use this buffalo plaid bow, I think, to go. Well, I'm just going to totally hide all the all the buffalo that I worked hard adding just now. will be hidden. Yeah. Because Garrett also got this giant bow at Walmart, which is great I because did. I could have made it, but I didn't have to. So. I didn't want to make a bow, so mm -hmm. that's why I got them. Do you think it matters? Well, I'm going to put a bow on this, right? Yes. So if I hot glue it up here, you, you don't need to glue it. Just loop it through. It'll hold oh, it. Oh, yes. The old loop through. The old loop through. I still made a bow. I don't think I need a bow. Yes, well, yes. That So that's what he decides. I don't need a bow. And I was like, yes, you do. I mean, look at that. Does it need a bow? I don't think it needs a bow. Do you think it needs a bow? <laughs> it does need a bow. No bow needed. This is too botastic as it is. I'm just hiding mine. Maybe this is too much string. See, I can't hide mine. Mine's too pretty. No bow. Add the bow, Garrett. No bow. Bow. No bow. Bow, no bells. <laughs> no bow. We are doing a bow. We're going to do the bow. If everyone votes no bow, we'll take it off. But yeah. let's add it for now. I think you guys should vote no bow. No we bow. We all know it needs a bow. No go on the bow. No, oh, actually, you didn't need this. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna tie it on. Doing the old tie on. The old tie on. The old tie on. What'd you think? Pretty easy, huh? Looked pretty easy, the paint was pretty easy, the cleanup was uh, tedious, but pretty easy. Um, they came out great and I could totally make them again. Yeah, they're still sticky. Totally make it again. 
So the purple one just feels just a little more stiff. I don't know, is it me? There you feel. No, it's a little stiffer. Just a little more stiffer. Just a little bit. But uh, that's all I can really tell is the difference. Well, the purple one is the textured yeah. one. The screen's a little bigger. I can see the screen. This one, I can't really see the screen, I think. So this is meant for more textured surfaces. Mm -hmm. And this is finer surfaces. This is for fine surfaces. <laughs> and I think this is a little bit stickier than the blue one. All in all, pretty cool. I enjoyed that it was like 35 seconds, two minutes, a little bit of cleanup. I'm saying maybe 15 minutes total, we had a, uh, a nice detailed reusable stencil. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's great. So, no weeding. No weeding. Oh, Just a little, wa my, little rinsing. I'd rather rub a screen than weed. So we gotta go. Wait, I gotta say one more thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just want to say thanks to Icon Art for sending us this kit. Oh, yeah. I Thank love you, it. Icon. And if you guys, again, if you guys are interested in some reusable stencils, then I think this is the way to go. Again, textile film. Well, reusable stencil film. sticky stencil. Yes. Sticky stencil. Yes. That's my favorite part about it, is that it was sticky. Now. Yes, you could have it now. All right, we're out of time. So if we're not gonna see you in the after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, make it again. <laughs> I'm not gonna balance those. I'm going for the box, cause it's easy, nothing in it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Think I can flip it and catch it again? Yes, do it. All right, I'll catch it there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, look at that. Perfect. First tee.